Hi, welcome back to Susan's Kitchen Corner, and this is the second edition of the soup, chicken soup, and we have our soup cooking nicely right here. It's been an hour, and just to let you know that you want to check it and look at it. Just don't, don't assume that because it's an hour, it's done. The bone should pull out really cleanly, and the meat should fall apart. Now, if you take the chicken out, and it doesn't look like it's done, it's perfectly fine to put it back in the pot with the broth and cook it up to another half hour. That's perfectly fine because the more longer this cooks, the more the flavors develop. So let's pull this out, let's turn this off. And always tilt the lid away from you so you don't get a steam bath. And what I have right here Got some heavy duty forks. Be careful, this does splash. There's a lot of liquid in here. And then another thing, the chicken has liquid in it. So what's gonna happen is you wanna, you wanna put it in the biggest ouch hole. See, this is very hot. And you wanna hold it like this, and let it drain off a little bit. Very, again, very careful, because I have dropped it in this process. Now let's check it, and of course, extremely hot. Let me put this out of the way so I can show you the... Here's the chicken. I got a bowl for it. Okay, well, bone pulled out. Let's see what about other things. You just want to check it. Okay, the wings are pulling off pretty good. Let's open it up here. And again, it's perfectly fine. Yeah, okay, everything, everything is, is pulling apart pretty, pretty well, pretty good. Actually, really well. I shouldn't say pretty good. So, see how that's just kind of coming off? And now, if you if you grab it with your pinchers or fork, and you're really having to work it off, you're probably going to have to put it back in for another half hour. Again, that is okay. So let's bring the... I got a plate here. Let's get these nice, big, huge carrots out. And don't forget, I put a lot of carrots in there. Don't forget, where is it? It's hiding. Oh, oh there it is. Don't forget the garlic. Keep this out. Wait till it cools down. Squeeze it out, all the garlic out. And then what you can do is you can incorporate this back into the soup and it makes it really wonderful. Yes, I do love gar garlic, if you haven't noticed. It's wonderful. And if you don't like garlic, you know, that's okay too. So you're going to want to let the chicken cool down enough. You want to pull it apart because what you're going to want to do is after it cools down, or you can do like I do, get your two forks back and just start taking the meat and pulling it off because the more you open it up the more it cools down and the more you'll be able to to um, put it into storage containers and freeze it or do whatever you want with it because there's a lot of meat on there okay well, we're going to set this aside i got my big huge strainer now, unlike this one, I cannot lift this. There's no, I mean, no way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this over close as possible. Now, if you have a handheld strainer, of course, you're going to have to have it in one hand and scoop it into the other. And then what I do is I keep the trash nearby. So you scoop the broth and there's, and there's stuff you don't want clunk right into the trash. So I'm going to, this, there's a lot of broth in here. And let me get a cup so I can show you this nice color. It almost dropped the cup in there. <laughs> that would be good. Okay, see that? That's all yummy broth, and there's a lot of it. And when storing this, okay, this can stay out, uh, outside the refrigerator for about one hour to cool down. Another thing you can do is get... A container like this, but this has a chicken in it right now. But what I do, you, you know what I do? There it is. 
get a deep pan like this if you have it. Put it in another pan like that. And what you do is when you put that down, you fill ice all around it. And what you do is you put this, the, the broth in here and you pour the water around it with the ice cubes, a lot of ice cubes, and when the ice cubes melt and you can stick your finger in it, it's lukewarm, that's okay for it to go into the refrigerator. But never stick anything really hot into the refrigerator huh, because it warms everything else up in the refrigerator. You can lose a lot in your milk if you have any dairy products. That's how some people get sick. They don't realize. You put hot stuff into the refrigerator and it raises the temperature of the refrigerator. Okay, let's get all that broth. I think I can... This is the fun part. Okay, I think I can do it now. Uh, this takes some... Uh, practice though because this thing is heavy look at all that broth it's gonna splatter okay now there's still broth in there and there's a there's that uh oh <laughs> oh there's a, there's the top of the chili pepper and i think that's about all that can take and, and <laughs> well it's covered but let me get it I got it. Okay. Muffin pan. Why am I holding a muffin pan? A muffin pan, what you can do is when these cool down, make space in the freezer. Fill these up with the broth very carefully about like half inch from the top. Stick in the freezer. They'll make little cubes. Take them over to the sink. Turn the hot water on. Or I do this. I'm not sure. <laughs> You don't have to do it. You can either do the water, hot water, or take them on the stove. Be very careful. Turn it on low, and they'll start to melt on one side. As soon as they're melted, take a knife and pop them out. Put them in a freezer bag, or the rice bag, or anything you can you know utilize. Let this side cool down. It shouldn't be that hot. Heat up the other side. That's just a faster way to get it out. And then when you turn it upside down the sink. They all kind of fall out at once and then you have water mixed in with them. So that's not a bad thing. And then another thing you can do is, I got an itch in my eye, excuse me. Um, you can use an ice cube tray. An ice cube tray works just as well. And that's what I use for, now what you can do with this is you can use this for making, let's say you're going to make some chicken, more chicken up, right? Get a pot a pan, instead of adding the water, add the chicken broth and that what happens is, is you cook the chicken for another hour in the broth that deepens the flavor and what I do is I use the ice cube tray and I break them out and then any broth left over I keep a cup back add it cut back cut back so I have a whole bag full of ice cubes and by the time it fills up I got some really good tasting gravy and let me put that up back over where it belongs and so this is how you make soup and this is something where you come home late at night it's so easy to do you, okay you get a pot like this put the soup in there of course put the soup in there put carrots again put um, celery, put mushrooms, more spices, um, bring it to a boil, let it cook, don't let it cook for an hour, let it cook for 20 to 25 minutes, and, and put some onions in there, anything you can think of that you like in soup, let it cook for 25 minutes, and you have a perfectly good soup, and it even deepens the flavor even more, so I uh, I think I covered everything. So let's see. Sometimes I forget stuff. And okay, well, I hope you enjoy this tutorial or video. It can be a lot of things. And I hope you find stuff to add to your soup that you like. Because not everyone likes the same thing. So I will see you later. <laughs>